Your timing is coming. Your timing is coming. Your opportunity is coming. Don't fall for social media and appearances. Your timing is coming. And I know a lot of people just don't feel like, they're like, when's my next opportunity going to come? You know, and listen, God's timing is perfect. I need you to understand this. You can be in the waiting line, in the queue. So I just, I don't know who needs to hear that message today. Because I know so many people that it's just like, you think every, you see everybody else's table being served. But when it's your turn, <laughs> like in the waiting line for, for a lot of years, 10, 15 years even. But when it's your turn, <laughs> you better strut that catwalk and don't feel bad about it. Because it's your season. It's your time. Why? Because you need to understand that your God... Not the manifestations and all the witchcraft that's going on today that people want to just talk about manifest the manifesting, manifesting. Nah, that ain't got no power. Like for 25 years or like how many years have they been waiting? And God said, it's time now. You're ready. So this is why I'm saying do not envy other people. Social media makes you want to envy other people. But you don't got to envy them. You know, the only one who has power is God. God has the power, not the universe. The universe ain't God. God has the power to make your dreams. What they don't know is that you've been in the waiting line for 20 years. <laughs> and then they see you like your table being served. And they're like, oh my God, how did they do it? Oh, that's not fair. But you know that they've been in the waiting line. You have to serve him. You have to put him first. And then he'll give you the desires of your heart. This is the thing is that a lot of people don't understand that God's grace. But you know what God's grace is? God's grace is you put him first. There's people who have not put God first. And that's why they have to hustle so hard. But don't you notice sometimes when you put God first, the more you worship him and the more this is powerful. God's grace is open doors. This world says you have to network. God says you don't got to network. I'm your mentor. I'm your promoter. You don't got to do anything. You don't have to do. And a lot of people don't understand that God's grace. You put him first. He just starts opening doors for you. He'll just start doing it all. You just, he just starts providing for you. He just starts opening doors, bringing opportunity. The way of the world is a, is a way I don't live. And I don't preach by that way. Because I've seen my God do supernatural things. And I, because when you shift things away from the natural into the supernatural, when you shift things away from fear, which is the natural world, the natural world is, pro, is rooted and programmed in fear. And you shift away from the 3D limited thinking and you shift into the supernatural realm of faith you will see supernatural things happen. Let me just tell you something. This world needs to understand. I am not going to, I think the world wants you to fall for its tricks and make you think that you got to do things A, point A, point B, point C. That's not, that's not my reality. If this world shifted away from the obsession with the natural and they started stepping into the supernatural realm of faith they would see miraculous things happen. Miracles. I'm talking about miracles. Like God's timing is absolutely perfect. This isn't, I'm, and I'm not just saying this. A lot of people talk about God, but they really don't, they, re they really don't care. And they really don't know him. But the actual presence of the Lord in your home, like you feel it, like take you over. You, you, you sit there and you're like, yo, I'm just a human being. <laughs> I, I ain't got when you've experienced the weight of God's glory in his presence, a lot of people haven't experienced it, maybe because they haven't prioritized it. But I'm telling you that when you feel the presence of the king in, like, in your home, where you feel... I have testimonies. Like, the only one who got power is God, not me. <laughs> when you feel the weight, like... I'm telling you, when you feel that presence of God, I'm telling you, everybody has to experience it. But the thing is that everybody is on their own path. We can't force anybody. 
my duty and my message and my 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 duty is to lead you to that because I've experienced it. The glory of God. I'm talking about the presence of the living father. Like I'm talking about like unexplainable feeling. I think that's when they get convinced like, yo, this is actually not just like a joke or a fantasy. Like God is actually real. Like he's actually like a, like a living God. Like this is real stuff. So when you start realizing the the presence, it is so intense and beautiful. Like it feels like that's when I feel like a lot of people who maybe still have doubts about their faith and the, but you experience that because it's such a not just a figment in your imagination or the way the world theory theorizes God <laughs> the world is always theorizing God like maybe he exists maybe maybe he doesn't maybe I, I'll believe maybe I don't believe died in order to serve him in order to seek his ways the great thing is that we get to prove to the world, hey, did you know that my God is real? Because look at what I look at what just happened. Look at what I just got. Look at all the things that are happening in my life. It's not to boast. A lot of people don't understand that when we talk about our faith and we talk about what God is doing in our life, it's not to bring glory to ourselves or to make other people envious. It's to show them, hey, my God is real. This is but you know what God loves doing? When we start worshiping him and we, and we already, there's no doubt about our faith at all. It's like 100% because we've done the work. And not only have we done the work, we've dedicated our lives to this. Like we've dedicated, we put everything aside. This is to show the power of God. Like it's like when you see Christians or people that talk about Christ, talk about Jesus, it's to show the world that he is, act, he's real. Like, and the way that God shows his glory is through doing things. We got nothing on Jesus. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? We as believers walk not like the world walks. We don't worry. We're set. Our tape, we, you the in our lives that wouldn't have been possible without him. That's why he talks about having crazy faith. Like declare crazy faith. Declare, start praying bigger prayers. I, I'm praying that my home is going to be paid off. My mortgage. This recession, this recession ain't got shh on me. <laughs> this recession, F the recession. Sorry, I'm trying to be holy. But the recession, the world is worrying about the recession. The world is worrying about the economy. And about the things. And you know what? Maybe we as believers are also sometimes weak in our faith. He says, cast all of your cares on me. Are you willing to trust him? Are you willing to actually put your trust in him? Like, I'm, I'm serious. God is serious about his. But God wants you to know that he is right there with you. He is with you. God wants you to know that your table is set. And that he.